you know, I think it's camp and it's preseason. This is the time to try new stuff. This is the time to get better. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to judge anyone by, by one game. Um, you know, I, I just see everyone come out every day and work really hard. So that, that's my perspective on it. A certain amount of time to know exactly who the starter is to, you know, get that synchronized whatever you guys need. Like, do you do you need that by a certain time, or you think like come week one you'll be able to figure it out since you've gotten enough reps with it? Yeah, I think you know, come week one I'll be playing fine next to whoever I'm playing next to. Um, you know, they're doing their job right, I'm doing my job right, and we end up working together. Uh, don't necessarily need a lot of time together for both taking proper technique with everything. Joan, how much do you want this offensive line to be better this year? Because they took a lot of criticism last year, and you heard that, I'm sure. How much do you want it to be better to make this team as a whole better and even make Joe Burrow better this year? You know, obviously, as a as a line, it's our job to, you know, protect Joe, open up lanes for, for our backs and everything like that. I think, you know, instead of looking at the big picture, which is, you know, easy for you guys to do, it's not something that I do. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to setting that tone. You know, I think that we're doing a pretty good job of it in practice. We're getting a little bit better every day. Uh, but, you know, when the season comes around, we're setting that tone against every team that we play. So, you know, at the end of the season, when you look back, you say, wow, like that Bengals O line, you know, they came to play, they were physical, um, and they did their jobs. You know, that's. At the end of the year, I'll look at the big picture, but until then, it's just about setting that tone. Was there excitement for you adding guys like Kappa and Karras and Collins? Of course, yeah. I think, you know, you get you get good vets, uh, new new faces, good talent in that room, and it brings everyone else up. So, uh, you know, I've had a great time, like, getting to know them and, um, you know, seeing, seeing, seeing them play, and I think that's bringing us all up together. Collins said he's the bodyguard when he came in here. Um, you talked about how we view it big picture, but do you want people to praise this offensive line? Do you want to hear those kind of comments and have a season like that for this whole line? Well, I want to set that tone that, you know, it's five bodyguards up there, you know? <laughs> like, that, that, that's our goal. It's what we come to do. And I think that by our play, by the way that we, you know, do it when you put the film on, that's what you're going to see. What is, what is Joe's confidence like in a huddle or in a game? His confidence is great. Um, you know, I think that you guys see that outwardly, but we see it in the in the huddle too. You know, you, you feel that he's he when he when he comes up and he's commanding the offense, he's calling the plays. You know that you know he trusts in us and he trusts himself that we're going to get the job done and we're going to score a lot of points and do everything that he can do. Um, so yeah, having having his confidence in the huddle definitely, uh, you know, it, it, it keeps us all feeling that confidence as well. He said he wants to gain weight. He wants to eat everything. He said to get his weight back. Can you help him with that at all? <laughs> yeah, I should probably get him on the O-line diet here for a couple of weeks. Um, yeah. Thanks, Jonah. Thanks, Thank you. you. What, what's it been like to have him back, not on the cart, and, and going, lifting up the team and knowing, okay, we're a whole team now? Yeah, it's been great. Um, you know, he, he, he's a leader of this team, and so to see him out there, to see him healthy, and see him, you know, starting to take some reps with us, that's that's exciting. Um, we know what he can do, and, um, you know, getting to see it in, in action again is pretty fun. You know, the starters are sitting out for these preseason games, although the Giants say they might play some of theirs. And, but how much are you looking forward to the scrimmages with the Rams when you guys can actually get some preseason activity? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, you know, you get to go against someone else, uh, you know, see a different color on the other side of the ball and, you know, get after him a little bit. That's, you know, I, I think at this point in camp, we're starting to get to that point. We're a little bit tired of going against each other, um, beating each other up. So we get to do it against someone else next week. And I think we're all excited about that. We're doing a feature for preseason on the, on the new white helmets. What was your reaction when you first saw them? I think they're cool. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't have much of an opinion about them, but I, I think they look cool, so I'm excited to wear them. Chris, Chris Evans told me, he says, you look good, you play good. Yeah. <laughs> you excited to wear them that Thursday night? Yeah. I mean, I don't know how good we can look up front, but we'll, you know, we'll look pretty physical with those white helmets on.